All right, so we have a um, Hunter DSP 9000. I bought this unit on Craigslist for, they wanted it for 400. And then I talked on the phone down to 300. I got there and we talked down to 260. The reason why they bought it, they said that the previous owner, uh, or every time you balance it, it gives you like inaccurate numbers. So I went to YouTube and before I bought it, I looked at this video. And this video tells me to go to the calibration menu stick this tool in there and this machine came with the tool stick it in there and hit enter uh, or spin it once you spin it take it and put it on the other side but also once it on the other side rotate it so the whole thing is at 90 degrees after that hit enter so the machine knows that you did it and then finally spin it and then the third step is to take wherever this thing ends take it and put it exactly on the opposite side. There are two threads, but put it in exactly the opposite side, and then go ahead and spin it again, and then finally the machine says calibration complete. I did that with this machine, and so now I have this 14 inch Honda rim, five across, 183 over here, and then um, a 14 inch tire. And so I brought this to my friend's Coat 1055, and so I balanced it, so I brought it home, And then it has uh, three ounces on here, it has 3.5 ounces here, and also asked for a quarter. So it was zero on his machine. I did break it off and put it onto his machine again. It did ask for a 0.25. So this 0 .2, 0 0.25 ounces seemed to be a little bit um, uh, a very small standard that there's a, there's a fluctuation there. But anyway, supposedly his machine is zeroed out i did it like three times there and so i brought it home to my craigslist special dsp 9000 and we're gonna see if it's anywhere close to his machine so we got a 10 ounces in here and the inside and a 0.25 in on the outside um as you guys know that the sticky weights are the smallest that they make so far to me is like a 0.25 ounces and they don't even make a 10 ounces so i don't know why hunter give you these numbers that went on they just go straight to zero make you feel better but anyways so to me it's zero and I did um, so it's basically saying add some number here and then add another point ten here but anyways I did take this um, I did take this three ounces out spun it put it back it did ask for three ounces out here at the exact same spot so I feel like this hunter machine is pretty accurate but to trust it, I decided to go one more step further. I had another 14 inch rim like this. So I brought it to my friend's shop and he had some other brand uh, balancer. I don't remember the brand. And what I did was I balanced it again on his machine, not this one. This one came from a coat. So this other one, which is now balanced and there's currently like a 1.75 on the outside and a 1.25 on the inside. So let's hope for the best to see if close to anything below 0.25 ounces. This machine is kind of old, so it's not really for anyone to learn on what this video is for. It's just for kind of my memory of like what I did and all the troubles I've gone through to make sure that the used Craigslist machine is good and all the effort you got to do. Oh, so it's somewhat close. It's a 0 0.04, which is nothing. The outside is asking for a 0.34. So that is more than 25. I think I do happen to have a, let's just spin it around one more time. Just to see if we can get another. Someone on uh, YouTube said to spin it 90 degrees. So if you ever get zero, spin this tire 90 degrees from that original mounting spot. Do it again. Do it three times, and it still says zero. Then your machine is calibrated.
it is asking for a 0.2 something eight on the else this outside so let me just i have a 0.5 here and i don't have a 0.28 but i do have one of these sticky weights so for the purposes of um just to see if we can actually get closer to zero, let's go ahead and try one of these sticky weights to see if it really works. So it's asking for us to put one right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to not, uh, might as well kind of clean it a little bit. And it wants it like pretty much right on the four there. So here we go. This is a Mickey Mouse not cleaning it well, but this is this rim is probably not gonna be used anymore anyways. This is for demonstration purposes. here we go so we're gonna stick it right on the 14 and actually I don't know how to use sticky weights in terms of like how do I set my machine to do sticky weights so that I have to read the manual but let's see if this 0.28 drops down to closer to zero let's cross our fingers It did it dropped down to 0 0.09 so whatever it is this machine is well calibrated now because it's believable and uh, I guess to reverse this I can bring these this wheel back to my other friend two shops tomorrow and balance it one more time to see if I can get close to zero on their machine and then we'll be in the we'll be in the good and we bought a good machine all right thanks for watching